In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of the orthogonal projection operator. And remember, at the end of the last video, what we were trying to prove was that essentially, if I operate on a vector which already lies in the column space of x, for example, mu hat, because we know mu hat has to lie in the column space of x, then the orthogonal projection operator applied to that vector should just return that vector in question. So we just wanted to check that this was actually the case for our projection operator. Our orthogonal projection operator here, p of x, we found in the last video was equal to x times x primed x to the power minus 1 times x prime. So if I apply the projection operator to mu hat, then we get that this is equal to x times x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed times mu hat. But we know that mu hat is just equal to x times beta hat. And then if we look at this expression, essentially what we've got here is we've got a, the inverse of a matrix times itself, which is just going to yield the identity matrix. So that means that we just get x times the identity matrix times beta hat, which is just going to be beta hat. So we just get the fact that the projection operator times mu hat is equal to x times beta hat, which we know is just equal to mu hat. So the orthogonal projection operator appears to work correctly in this particular circumstance. Note that you could also just put x in here. You could, if you were to operate the projection operator on x, then you'll just get x out. So it will also yield that for any other vector which lies in the column space of x. Then we wanted to show that essentially if we take the projection operator and if we operate it on some vector w, which is actually orthogonal to the column space of x, then we should get zero out. So which vectors are orthogonal to the column space of x? Well, one such vector is shown here in the diagram. It's just going to be y minus mu hat. So if we operate px on y minus mu hat, we expect to get zero out. So let's just check that. So if we take px and then we multiply it by y minus mu hat, then what we get is, if we just substitute in for uh, px, then we get that this is equal to x times x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed times y. If we sort of multiply out this bracket here, then we are going to take away x times x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed times mu hat. But this first term here should look quite familiar. We actually found that this was the definition of mu hat. So we got that from the fact that mu hat um, is actually the projection or px operated on y. And this whole thing here is just px. So the first term just yields mu hat. And we already know from this video that mu hat is the second term. So we just get mu hat minus mu hat, which is equal to zero. In other words, the projection operator operating on a vector which is orthogonal to the column space of x, which is represented by this particular plane here, the plane here represents the column space of x, we get zero out. So the orthogonal projection operator appears to have the properties which we require of it. 